Well hello, we're off for a walk at Bluffrig Fell. Why not come with me and see what views we can see? Well, good afternoon, and we've had a slight change of plan today. The idea originally was to go um, wild camping for uh, a couple of nights, but um, I, once I was checking the weather forecast, I was getting a little bit dubious about it all, and then I watched um, a video by Henry Turner where he wild camped and had to bail out because the tent was being blown about so much so in the end I decided against it so so what we're doing today we've come through Grasmere we've just parked um, along the road a little way out of Grasmere um, and we're heading towards uh, I can actually see it in front of it and I'm heading towards Luffrig Tarn. We're going to have a little look at the tarn, see what we can see, and then we're going to head up Luffrig Fell and wondering if we might get some some sunset colours. I don't know. The forecast says it's a possibility, but there's no guarantee. So, yep, we'll carry on and we'll see you a little bit later. Right, well we've made it to the tarn and I had decided before I came that the challenge for today's walk would be just to use the long lens for 70 to 200. So when I was coming to the tarn I was thinking how on earth am I going to do that? This is a wide angle view if I want to get an image of the tarn. But what I did come across, if I just turn around here, is this little waterfall or cascade coming out of the tree if I just zoom into it you can just see it there you can certainly hear it and it's just coming out from this tree here and I thought that was really something different and I really like that so yeah if we show you the back of the camera you'll see that um, we've got it on portrait mode and you can maybe see the, the little bands at the top and bottom that I'm going to do it as a, a 4x5 rather than a 6. Uh, get this right. It's normally um, 2x3 or 4x6. So I'm doing it 4x5. Just narrow it down. I just find that the full, in portrait mode, the full 6x4 is just a bit too tall. I prefer the smaller one. So... And we're focused in there, and I think the one when I was filming it on the, the back of the camera, it was f11, 100 ISO, and a tenth of a second. Now I have taken different um, exposures as the sun has changed. The sun's been quite, um, quite, yeah, it's coming in and out. You can see the clouds there. There's a lot of definition. So hopefully for for future images today that'll be quite good so so yeah that's uh, our first composition nice little waterfall totally unexpected but that's the joy of just coming to an area not knowing what you're going to find not knowing what you're going to come across and just going with it so yep we'll pack up the camera uh, if the sun comes out before we've taken it off and maybe take a couple more um, images and then we'll carry on I think we're going to go the footpath just goes down there and there's a brook and I don't know there's a little bridge and I just have a I just a sense about it so we'll go down there or we'll maybe get back onto the track and then we're going to head back here and we're going up Luffrig Fell which is up there so that's where we're going to head up 
and yeah we'll just see you a bit later Right, we've hardly come, well, a couple of hundred yards, something like that, and we've come to this stream here. I was hoping that I could just stand on the bridge and, and look down as a leading line. The problem is it's not particularly straight. So I've come here and you'll we'll see, the, maybe if I zoom in, see there the stream bending round and there's the town and there's a nice little white building up there so if I just briefly um, show you the back of the camera so yeah we've got um, let's just take those off we've got a bit of a leading line in the white building I'm not quite sure how well it'll come out but that's that's the image I've, I've got. So, it's, it, yeah, it's quite good. I've got a couple of images. Um, the sky is changing quite rapidly at the moment. It's I'm very dark over there. Yeah, over there there is, um, as one would say, there's some blue clouds as opposed to just the grey ones. So, yeah, well, if that's any good, I'll maybe just hang around a couple more minutes, try different compositions. Sorry, yeah, not different competitions, different um, shutter speeds, etc. And then we're going to go on up, back onto the track and round, and then head up Luffrig Fell. So, yeah, hopefully we'll have a, a quite a good afternoon. It's going, it's going well so far. Anyway, we'll put the image up, and we'll see you a little bit later. Right, we've made it to the top of Luffrig Fell and you can see there in front of me the um, oh, trig point which I'm assuming is on the highest point. So if we look, let's just put the zoom on. If we look there that's looking up Dunmill rays and I can just see I don't know whether you can, I'll have to wait to see on the um, when I get it on the computer um, some water which will be foam here it won't be don't water and if we come round here that's the water down there is grass mere 
And now I can't remember all the names of the fells. What I'll do is, as we're going round, when I get it on the computer, I'll highlight which ones are which. I mean, the big ones over there are the Langdales. And then as we come round, we've got, car, it's windy. Yeah, I wouldn't have been wanting to camp out in wind like this. So as we come round, you can see down there, that's Elter Water. Now you can't quite see it because of the, the, the mountains or the rocks there where we've come up from Luffrig Tarn. I'm seeing the distance a bit there now. I'm assuming that is Coniston Water. Um, and somewhere around there will be the old man. And then coming round again, the more obvious one that you can't really miss is Windermere. And just over there, looking straight ahead, is I think that'll be Todd, somewhere along there is Todd Crag which I've done a couple of videos from. And as we come round, trying to not fall over and not get blown over, we'll see there is, if I come down a bit, it might brighten it up, is um, Ambleside. And again, what you can't see in the gap there, it'll be Rydal, Rydal Water. And coming up, we've got more of the big mountains, which I'll try and identify on, on the video. I want to put it on the computer. And then as we slowly come back, we get back to Dunmail Rays. So, that's where we are. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get out the wind. I'm going to have a mooch around and see if I can find... Uh, uh, at least one nice composition to take. Um, I'm not quite sure what the sun's going to do because as you can see the clouds are doing different things. But I imagine the sun's gone behind the mountains now. So wherever I go I need to try and be out of this ridiculous wind. So, right, anyway, we'll see you a little bit later. Right, so we've come up with the first composition. Um, it's difficult to show you. Basically, it's the cameras that I'm just looking in that direction. I'm just very reluctant to uh, leave the camera because it's very windy and I don't want it to, to blow over. i am actually found a bit of a rock to sit on where, as you can see, yeah, the camp. The, the tripod's very low, so I can sit on this rock and point the camera. And we're basically looking at Dunmail Rays, looking up to Dunmail Rays with Thirlmere at the top. Now, I don't know what the weather's going to do at the moment. It's, uh, it's going a lot darker down there. Hopefully the images I've got um, are a little bit lighter. Um, we'll see. Not the best ever image. Well, I think it's quite a nice composition. Again, we're doing it portrait uh, and 4x5 or 5x4. Um, I just find that the 6x4 for portrait is, is just too much. So we'll see how that comes out. Uh, we'll maybe just try and find another composition. It, it's just very difficult with all the, the wind and not quite sure what the sun's doing. The sun's over there. Um, but you can see there's huge banks of, of grey cloud, etc. So, yeah, I'm just not not sure what to do. Um, I'm going to say what sort of um, sunset's meant to be at half past six, and it's and it's quarter two at the moment. I might just have a little more mooch around, see if I can find anything else to do. I'm not going to video it. Um, if I find anything else, I'll just take the images and any images we do find, we'll put up and then we're going to head back down and head home. So, yeah, anyway, we'll see. Whatever happens, we'll see you a little bit later.
Right, well we're back down at the road and not far from the van. And thank you for anyone who's come with me on the journey all the way. Just to remind you, if you've enjoyed it, please kick the thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe and please comment. I do appreciate all comments. So, yeah, it was a, an interesting day. Places I haven't been before. I think the challenge with the... The challenge with the... Um, oh. Yeah, with the long lens worked quite well. I seem to get some nice... Or what I thought were nice compositions. We'll find out when we get them on the computer. But, yeah, we'll have to go the wild camping some other time. And hopefully... And this will be going up today's Friday, it will be going up a week on Sunday. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the little video. Well, I think it might be quite, quite a long one, but the one about my the way I do things of getting the images onto the, onto the computer and how I keep track of them, etc. My workflow. So, yeah, hopefully, you enjoyed that. And I'm not quite sure what we're going to be doing next, but. Yeah, the way it was at the end on the top of Luffrig Fell there, I, I wouldn't want to have particularly been out thinking about camping in that weather. I'm glad that I um, changed my mind. So, and I can see the van approaching. So, yeah, I think that's all we've got to say. We'll call it a day and we'll see you on the next video.